as chief conductor of the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra and conductor laureate of the Swedish Chamber Orchestra, as well as being an international guest conductor, Danish sensation Thomas Dalsgaard has electrified musicians and audiences around the globe. Now that he's at the helm of the Seattle Symphony, the AZ crew and I invited him for a chat over a friendly game of cornhole. All right, we got our beanbags, cornhole, I got my questions. You ready to do this thing? I'm ready. Okay, you're gonna go first. Let's see, what do you got? Ooh, not bad, not bad. Let's see another one. Yes, oh, very close. Okay, so you're very well known to Seattle audiences. You've guest conducted here many, many times. What was the appeal of making this a permanent gig? That I could come here and play cornhole with oh. you, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was that there is a wonderful orchestra here in town. Yeah. There is a wonderful hall, I yeah. think one of the best in North America. Mm -hmm. And there is a great audience. Mm -hmm. And then when I look out the windows here, I can see the Puget Sound and uh, the fantastic nature close by, and I love that. You love it being surrounded by it. Now, I saw you conduct for the first time um, the opening concert uh, of the season. I fell in love with you, like everyone in the room, I think, did. You're very physical when you conduct. Are you aware of that, or are you simply lost in the moment? I think I'm lost in the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have to do what I feel is uh, the necessary impulses for things to happen, mm -hmm. and uh, what I feel about the, the music. Mm -hmm. But of course, it's based on on uh, growing up, trying to find the means of expression. Mm -hmm. But now I'm not so much concerned with them in in themselves. I, I think more about the music. I think only. Just like so the music kind of just takes you. That takes yeah. me. Yeah. So I. I, I can't decide in completely in advance. I, I don't know what I'm doing afterwards. Right. I couldn't reconstruct that right, because yeah. it it so much depends on um, on the interaction of the musicians too. Mm -hmm. What I feel they need mm -hmm. for something special to happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there are also things in the performance which you can't you can't prepare for. The kind of insights you suddenly get in the in that kind of uh, pressure cooker, which is with the audience around you and the orchestra. Uh, performing this one time only. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the moment will never come back and you can either use it to play safe or you can take risks. And you I take want risks. Us to, I want us to take risks. You take risks. And um, that is the nerve of the music because when you take risks you, you can't quite prepare what the next yeah. um, moment will be like and what it will require of you. Yes. And you will also find that however much you rehearse and prepare mm -hmm. There will be moments in, in good concerts where you suddenly get insights you could never have achieved by just in, studying. In, or, the, in the midst of it. Yeah, in, in the, the midst of it. In the midst so of it. Th th that is a particular magic that, that, wow. um, that you think, wow, I never thought about that, but here it is so obvious. It just has to be like this. Wow, that's pretty great. Did, did you always want to be a conductor? No, but I think I, I always had something to do with music. Uh, and I, I think uh, growing up, I, I, the world was big. I thought I could do everything. Mm. I played the piano, I composed. I, I, I was wondering, so you played, played the instrument. cello. Yes, yeah. I played the cello. And, yeah. and uh, then I also, um, because I was interested in, in all these different things, I went, I, I, my, my piano teacher suggested that I could, could go and listen to orchestral rehearsals and see how hmm. people worked with music yeah. on, a, on a sort of professional scale, what, what it was like. Yeah. And I was super curious about that. And then that, of course, meant that I would see conductors working with the orchestra. I later became music director for the Danish National Symphony Orchestra. Right, right. Um, and uh, soloists coming to work with them and composers working on their latest composition. And then I, I realized that I would love to try to conduct as well. And I'm not I doing well, by the way, I've noticed. Have you noticed that? <laughs> I'm not doing so well. <laughs> but, but you're showing me what not to do. And I, I, that's true. That, that's that, true. Is, that is an inspiration. I'm teaching you. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. I really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. You're leading top flight musicians. What's it like when everything... I, I, cornhole! Corn! You got a high five? Yes. Okay, no, okay. I got, a, I got us off track there. We're so excited. First <laughs> it, it one. Was. First one. Go ahead. Almost. Okay, now, so what I was asking you is, 
you're leading these amazing musicians. What's it like when everything is clicking? It's just you're in the groove. Well, that is magic, of course. That yeah. is, uh, you are you are outside yourself somehow, mm -hmm. and, and and time is suspended. Time mm -hmm. is such an important factor in in our lives, mm -hmm. and we are we are when we are preparing for things here. Of course, we are in incredibly strict time frames, down to the second we have to stop. Right. Uh, right. It, it is so regulated, mm -hmm. and uh, it, th that is fine, and it, it has to be like that. But when we then are in the concert and in the music, yes, time is. People here, Seattle Symphony, just the public, what do you want them, what do you hope they will think? That they are inspired by what they hear mm -hmm. and how they feel us in the room. Mm -hmm. That the whole experience is taking them out of their normal life and bring, giving them something extra. Mm -hmm. That it's uh, an enrichment deep inside. Mm -hmm. That is the most important. So do you see relationship between symphonic music and other genres, rock, punk, Hip hop, blues. Do you do you think there's a connection? What comes to mind when we talk about it is somebody like like uh, Björk, yes, uh, yes. who who has taken quite a lot of inspiration from from our world, and mm -hmm. I think has done it in a really, really, really fascinating way. Um, but I come from a background where I used to be a rock musician as a uh, growing up as a really as what a, kind of music? As a teenager. Well, we played in a formation a bit like the Beatles. Oh, I love uh, it. And, I've heard of them. Uh, and, uh, I'm yeah. aware of them. Yeah. yeah. So we, it, it was uh, mid-70s. Uh -huh. I was uh, young and... Um, a groovy little rocker. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so that, that was part of my upbringing. But then I, I, classical music won me over. Uh -huh. I, I listened to Beethoven and somehow I was... It got you. Yeah, it got me. So yeah. I, had to, I had to give up the rock band. And, um, but that, but, that, so, but so the since rock then, band informs you, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. But since then, I have, I, I haven't been able to come back to that uh, genre with with my full heart. Mm -hmm. So so we're um, still Wait. working on it. At the same time, I'm really interested in, um, in the, in where the the music we do perform as classical musicians, where that comes from, because mm. of course we have inspiration from mm -hmm. all the genres. Of course. And, pro and composers today, of course, will have inspiration from. Indeed, rock music. Hey, look at close. Close. Right. No. Uh, I'm sweating, by the way. Are you? I'm actually sweating. I mean, I didn't know this was such a workout. No, no, music will make me sweat more. Yeah. But, but. So, is there a, is there a artist or musician, living or dead, um, who you would really like to meet? Yeah, I or think, hang out with. Even? I think. Oh, for so many years, I've wanted to meet Beethoven. Uh -huh. uh, it, 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 it almost sounds trivial, but, but hmm. I think so much of my fascination with, the, with this kind of music comes from the energy and the, the, the power within his, his music. Mm -hmm. And to just experience him as a human being, to, to get a sense of what he really was like if I asked him a simple question, I would love to ha mm -hmm. have had that opportunity. Yeah. Um, all right, final question. Mm -hmm. We you. both obviously have very good hair, um, clearly. What is your hair care regimen, your, your process? That's a difficult question. You expect me to know? Yeah, because it, it's really great. Oh. Because like when you're, when, you're, when, you're up, when you're conducting and it is just, your hair is just That's fantastic. No, it's not the best, but it's a great part of the peak action right. of you. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. yeah. Good to know. Yeah. I'll watch out what it is. I, okay, I, I yeah. haven't paid well, enough maybe attention. Maybe pay some pay attention, then maybe you can email. Do you have a recommendation? Well, uh, I don't think you need a recommendation from me. You're, you're looking <laughs> so good. All right. Well, um, here's the deal. I can't win this game because that would be like winning at your birthday party, and yeah. then that's really tacky and weird, and yeah. you know. So, so. But I'm, you did win. I well, yeah, yeah, well, you, you maybe did. technically, yeah. but I think spiritually you won, and there's a prize for you, Rosemary. Can I get the prize? This is a prize. So I don't know if you've ever had one of these. Oh, before. yes, I like that. Oh, you do. Do you want to yes. do it? Do it on your head? <gasps> okay. Oh. okay. Oh, time stands still. Oh, it's like it music. <gasps> Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Very yeah, nice. Is it? You just, it's like you get into a daze. Absolutely. A haze. Lost in the moment. Uh, where am I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where are you? Hey, will, you do it on, will, you put it on, will you do it on me? Okay, you know my head. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh my God. <gasps> That's profound. That feeling is a profound feeling. It is good. Oh, Thomas, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you. Thank you. You're a star. You're a star. All right. Thank you.